All right, hey, Josh Robinson, digital designer, last on the favorite video project series. Uh, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about what you do as digital designer on the Luminous team, and then we'll get into your favorite project. Hey, I'm Josh. Uh, as visual designer, I kind of do a lot of uh, UI, UX, user interface stuff, um, but that can be anything from content planning to visual design mockups to, I mean, to uh, content entry to photo editing to anything in between. A little bit of a jack of all trades. Very useful. Good team member, good skill set, all that good stuff. So let's talk about what we're here for, the favorite project. Uh, which one do you want to dive into and tell everyone about? Um, I'd like to talk about uh, Punt Foundation, which is a, sort of a, a Western New York nonprofit organization that helps uh, primarily children with pediatric cancer, but as well um, as their families, um, you know, helping with day-to-day -day expenses, um, sort of the emotional burdens of going through cancer treatment and things like that. Yeah, why don't you tell us what kind of stuck out and made it your choice to talk about? Um, kind of one of my mentors used to say that like there's really nothing better in this field than doing good work for good people. Um, so mm -hmm. that was the first thing that came to mind with Punt. Um, you know, obviously they're a, a organization that's very budget conscious. You know, they don't want a lot of overhead. They want as much money as possible to go to these kids and to their families. Um, so you know. A lot of times an organization like that doesn't can't really afford agency work. They can't afford great creative, but they're usually the ones that deserve it the most. Um, so, you know, this project was really a great opportunity to sort of give back a little bit and to, for me at least, to combine multiple skills, uh, visual design, programming, copywriting, uh, sort of into a finished project because we weren't involving a lot of different team members. It was just mostly me handling those responsibilities. So I got to do a little bit of everything and sort of streamline a process so that it could have a really good result that was in time for uh, one of their sort of uh, September, you know, giving giving events. Um, so they, they needed something fast. They needed something that looked great, that sort of matched the level of professionalism that is their organization. And um, that was part of what this project was about. Yeah, we've as a company, we've been working with them for years. We go way back with their leadership team, uh, and it was good to to help them with the new the new round and the new vision of that. But what was what was the main objective they had when they came to us? You could tell us a little bit about that and how we worked through it. Sure, uh, they had sort of this outdated website. Um, it was you know it was something that Luminous did, but at at that point, it was already you know probably six years old, maybe longer. Uh, it spoke to a different sort of phase of their journey um, back when, you know, it was a little bit more uh, Brian Mormon centric um, and they wanted to have something that reflected a little bit more that, you know, this is a public foundation. It's not a private enterprise. Um, it's something that's supported by the Western New York community. So they really wanted something that reflected their new sort of organizational mission and structure. Um, and that, that was part of needing a sort of enhanced functionality with uh, Giving Tuesday. They needed a really robust um, donation platform. Um, they needed something like a custom form that matched what some of these other nonprofit organizations were doing where you could say, hey, I want to make a one-time donation or I want to make monthly recurring donations. I want to make it in honor of somebody. I want to, you know, reference the company I'm working at. It's going to be a matching donation. So there's a lot of different sort of really a little bit of logistical challenges that come with uh, making a nonprofit site that accepts donations, and that was really part of what they needed. Yeah, we were moving pretty fast on it too, and of course, like you were saying, budget conscious. So there were some limited opportunities to actually get things like uh, photo assets and that. So we kind of had to get creative with some of that stuff too. Right. Yeah. They. You know, we didn't quite have time to do a full photo shoot, um, even though we did. Uh, eventually shoot their adopt a family uh, yearly event but at the time it was you know very much we need to get something that is professional and uh, you know more cutting edge than what they had very quickly um, so we did a lot of work with you know sort of elevating stock photography with um, some you know photo treatments and different branded visual elements to just kind of take it up to the next level yeah for sure how, what do you think they got out of this? I mean, we did this last year, 2019, but um, so it's been up for a little while. What do you think their, the benefit of this work was for Punt? Um, I mean, for starters, it was a huge you know, user experience upgrade over just a, a PayPal donate button. 
Yeah, for sure. You know, you, you have, all of a sudden you had a form that collects all this, you know, information from donors and also gives them the flexibility to, you know, have different types of donations or uh, have donations in name of people or matching donations with their company. So, you know, right out of the box, a huge um, user experience upgrade, but also, um, you know, just kind of allowing the volunteers to contact Punt, um, you know, depending on what they want to do. If it's, you know, volunteering for, you know, the adoptive family or if it's uh, hosting an event, um, you know, we gave them a little bit more flexibility to reach out to Punt. And we also kind of did a little bit of education um, in terms of, you know, the costs of cancer. That's not really something that um, was really visible in their website before through copy. Um, so we really wanted to make sure people understood, you know, even if somebody has great insurance, he's, he or all the costs that are associated with treatment. So every dollar you give is going to also go to go towards these things. Um, so just kind of, you know, giving a little bit more of a, a cohesive message so that people understand uh, why it's important to support them. Yeah, upgrading messaging, upgrading and functionality, making it a real tool for the leadership team over there. So great, awesome project. Thanks for sharing. Sure.